Hello YouTubers and RV Rebel Watchers. How are you today? Well, I've left my Thousand Trails campground and I'm headed over to Fort Myers Beach. I'm going to be meeting up with Marsha. Um, Marsha, my friend that I have introduced you to before, the one that picks up the garbage and she's has her little van, cute little van. Anyway, I'm going to meet up with Marsha and we are going to a fundraiser um, on Fort Myers Beach for the Baptist Church and they totally lost all of you know Fort Myers Beach was totally like leveled and um, from Hurricane Ian and they're still building back um, it's taken them a long time because I mean they their buildings were totally demolished and um, this church lost the building and we are going to park at the church and by staying there and giving them a donation to park it's going to help their building project so i think there's about 17 van get it's a van gathering it's a on facebook the the man who runs it or organizes the gatherings he organizes gatherings all over florida and this will be the first time I'm attending with this group. We're, we just packed up and we, we weren't supposed to, well, we didn't have to pull out from the RV park until tomorrow, but um, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and pull out tonight um, because it takes a long time to get over the bridge to get to Fort Myers Beach. Everybody wants to go to the beach on Saturday morning, you know? So I want to get up early to, to get over the bridge and get to um, the actual beach location at the church that we're going to. And I'll take you along with me for as much as I can. Uh, and I was going to drop the camper and then just take the van over. But I really wasn't feeling really comfortable about that. I didn't really want to leave my um, camper unattended. I mean, you know, unattended for two days. I'm going on and on and on. I'm going to bring you with me to this van gathering fundraiser on Fort Myers Beach in Florida. Join me. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away Well, we're at Planet Fitness and we're on Old McGregor. It's not far from Fort Myers Beach. We're going to see about if we're going to be able to park here for the night not sure but if not we will mosey on down to the walmart which is closer to the beach we'll see what happens though but first marcia and i are going to get a massage in the massage chairs at the planet fitness it's about a 10 minute massage, but oh my God, it, it feels so good. They call it a hydro something massage. It's all water slushing through the chair. Oh, but it's very comforting. So we decided to go right to the event location uh, from Walmart because Walmart had signs that said no parking and I didn't want to get stuck on this bridge that we're going over the Fort Myers Bridge now. I didn't want to get stuck on this bridge in traffic in Saturday morning traffic, which is like horrible, you know, and it's so beautiful coming over this bridge in the daylight and sometimes at night, but it's a whole different look now that the hurricane has, you know, destroyed so much of the beach here but here we are coming over the bridge marsh is behind me and it's 
not as lit up as it normally is. But there's a lot of people just running across the street all the way over to Times. This is Times Square and everything over here. A lot of the places are gone. It's pretty dark. But I'm surprised there's so many people still on the beach. We're gonna make it. That we're going this is Margaritaville and I took you there before. We're gonna come up on Margaritaville right now. And they have like this bridge going over. Not a lot of foot traffic, but spring break is over. So we'll see you when we get there. I'm gonna try to park tonight. Good morning. I am at the meetup. Um, I got here late last night, so I couldn't see anything. But look at all the new things being built. I'm at the south end of the island, where down here you're going to see more condos and um, homes than you will see businesses. But um, I'm at the church. Oh, got some bicyclers. Good morning. A lot of the big stores got demolished. Well, there really wasn't very many big stores, but there was a Publix down here at the south end, and that's the south end down there. A lot of things got really leveled out here, as you can see. Um, looks like they left the foundation of that place. Boy, very devastating. And this is Beach Access 22 at Connecticut Street right over here. But most of the stuff that happens, happens at that end of the beach during spring break. Usually from Palermo North in the area where you come over the bridge. But so many houses were just you know, leveled and businesses were leveled. And there's the golf. So we're right across from the beach access, number 22, which means we can walk right across the street and go to the beach, you know? But here's, the church is totally gone, but they have a tent set up. And uh, here's the van meetup of people so far. There's gonna be, I think, 15, of us. What's nice is the church is even letting us use their portable washrooms. It's going to be a good lead up. We had some breakfast. I was going to take some pictures of us cooking breakfast, but Marsha made breakfast. And we are going to have a kind of a cookout. Tomorrow morning, we're going to make a big breakfast for everybody. Tonight, we're going to get together. I think they've already got some bricks put up together to have a campfire later on this evening. I love the pop up. Um, Dodge Ram with the pop-up. It's really nice. Some great ideas. Oh, I like the way they've hooked their cord up over here. And then they, of course, they have the pop-up. And then they have their utility center. But they do have a screen. The screen is here to keep the bugs out. But it can go all the way straight down. They're undercarriage. And then they have a bedroom up on top. So people can sleep upstairs and downstairs. And you just stop along the way and just say, we're going to camp here. Very nice. Look at that. The swivel chairs. This is this is um, Oscar, and this is Stanley. Little refrigerator, sink, stove top, and then here is the upstairs. It has screen windows. Very cool. Yeah, but you're not interested in driving it. You're interested in looking at. And it's probably extra storage up in there.
Very nice. So this is actually a couch, but they have it down right now in sleeping mode. So they have the couch here, but on the back side, it's, it is a twin bed. So they elect to put it down into the uh, bed, you know, status and put an additional mattress on top and just leave it there all the time and use the upper quarters for camping. This is the rest of where the church was. I'll show you an aerial from the um, direction. Looks like there might be some power here too, but I'll show you an aerial from the website from or from the Google Maps that has what it looked like when the church was still here. Mostly vans. I'm the only one with the trailer. Okay, this is um, River's van, her Dodge Ram. And she ended up building this out. And when she bought it, there's her puppy in the window. When she bought the van, she didn't realize that she could open both sides of her cargo van, which is really nice. I wish I had that option. Um, but she built it out. So what she did was she built, you know, this, this is all pine. And she said she did all the work herself. And then here is a closet. And in here, she keeps her, her water tanks, her, her um, fresh water. And I think she keeps her gray water in there too. So, but it's nice. And when you got this, I'm sorry, not pine, it's cedar. So the cedar helps with the, you know, with bugs, they don't like cedar. And it's screened, so she could just leave this side open, which is really kind of cool. And then this is her humble abode. She's got the screens all set up and the curtains. Like I said, all of this is cedar. So it really is great because, you know, it takes care of odor. Nice little basket there. Her refrigerator and her cubby underneath there. And then her bed. Isn't that beautiful? Her fan. This is her, you know what this is. This is the Lou. <laughs> and now she built her dogs in here, but she built this really nice door. <laughs> Oops. Oh, pee puppy. Don't come out. This door goes back and forth for the heat. I mean, to keep the heat and the AC in there, in the back. And she's got a nice little storage area, storage area up here. It's just beautiful with her sink and her cabinet. Now there's her pump for the water in the corner. Isn't that nice? And right here, she built herself a table so she could sit on this part and pull this table out. And it pulls all the way out. It's a really great job she did. She's got a fishing pole mounted up on top. River's not a full-timer. She's, the floor is awesome. She's a part time. She's a part timer. Locally, lives in Florida. Yeah. Okay, so I'm at Craig's um, van, and he is the inventor of BikeHook.com. Right. It's two words. Be it. I'll show it to you, and I'll give you all the information. But he has this bike hook that he invented, and he, you hook your bike to it and you just put it over the edge and I'll show you. Let me get down. Ah. Right. So you swap your front tire with the hook. Now this is the Gen 1 model. The new ones look a little bit different, but it's the same principle. Gen 1. So you swap your tire with the hook and then you just place it on top of your door like that. Then you shut your door and it's locked in place. And oh my God, that is awesome doesn't come nice. off. Doesn't come off. So you don't have to lock your bike. So I've... You could if you want. Like this one, we, we make a lock for it where you can put a lock. Wrap the neck and you lock it to it. They do make, you make a lock for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they make a lock and they make the hook. And this is for the regular 
tire, but he also has one for the fat tire. Now, this is my question for you, uh, Craig. Mm -hmm. When you're doing, uh, does it leave marks? Does it bounce back and forth and hit the back of your van? So this is like our test van. So I don't strap them and I don't really put any protection on it because I want to see how it wears and how it beats up the van. And this, these bikes are literally some bikes I bought that just stay on here nonstop. They've been here for probably at least eight months. And you can see it hasn't really worn at all. Yeah, wow, and it doesn't, nice. no dent or anything. That's but pretty we cool. Sell them, we do sell them with these decals that you can use okay so and you put the decal where the where the wheel would go right and we and also send it with a another pad that you can put between the tire and it. that is so it pretty does come with options that you can place in there wow so the difference between uh this as you could see where the the you do have to take the, the front tire off and the way it hooks on there now if you have a fat tire it has a bigger attachment on it um, right. to hold the fat tire we do, we do, I can make custom. And then he can custom make them. And this is for, this is what the, this is a Ford. A Ford? Transit. Transit. Oh, that's what I have, a Ford Transit. So, I make them where they can go straight, or you can put an angle on them. If you put two on one door, you want to angle it so the handlebars will. Oh, right. Now, I would only have one bike. So, well, and I sent them all straight, but they have the ability to be adjusted. Oh. Any way you like, so. So that's for. Um, so that's for a Ford. So what's what's the difference of a Ford or a? Um, is uh, a door different? Yeah, it's a door jam too. Oh, the door jam. See different. the the door jam door jam on the Ram is much sh shorter. Okay. And it's much taller on the Ford and the Mercedes. Oh, okay. So the Ford and Mercedes are very similar. Okay. Are really hard to tell apart. But okay. the Ram is definitely different. And how much do you sell those for? Uh, we sell them for about one twenty-five a piece. Wow. Uh, That's cheaper than a bike rack. Right. I paid six hundred for my one-up right. for one bike. And this one, the best thing about it to me is the ability to open the doors. Yeah. So you once can, you're on there, the doors. You can open your, still open your door. Oh, wow. And that's what's nice, would be nice for me. Right. So you don't have to swing anything out of the way. I'd have no to get on a stool, way. though. And honestly, this thing, they sit so high. Um, and they're higher on the, on the Fords and the Mercedes because they have a little taller roof. But these things you can really easily park in any parking spot because almost any car can pull up under here. Right, now, a right. F two fifty truck. I pull a trailer, but, so I don't really have to worry about that unless I don't have a trailer. <laughs> but you don't have to worry about you yeah know, four feet of bike racks. Thing right. Like if you're going to swing at a Walmart, right, or you know go get coffee or something, you don't have to worry about. It. That's really cool. Very nice. Okay, so once again, his website where you can buy all this is bike-hook.com. Yep. Hey, it. tell them RV Rebel Girl sent you. That's right. So we're at Beach Access, Beach Access 22. There's our group right there where the church was. But it's a small beach access. I mean, you could probably park about 15 vehicles, I think. And you gotta pay by phone. It's a dollar an hour to park here. And um, as I shared on my Facebook page, this seems to be the thing lately that I noticed. They're doing it at the Florida State Parks. They're leaving a bucket for people to go ahead and pick up trash with. Isn't that nice? I'll chip in. They don't have the pick the gripper picker uppers at this um, at these beaches, but at the state park they have the grippers picker yeah. uppers. I know, I know. Yeah. Look at the bulldozers moving around the sand. You know, because we lost a lot of that infrastructure for the uh, The dunes and everything. This is all roped off here. Wonder if those are turtles nest there. No, but it's sea oats and they're protected. Sea oats, they're protected, so it's that.
And so they have a sign to let you know what access you're at. So you know if you call 911, you could tell them that you're at Connecticut Street, access 22. Look at this one. That's a pretty one. It's got a bunch of barnacles on it. Oh, Marcia says, no, it's not. Well, yeah, we're all laying here on Four Myers Beach. So everybody that's here so far, it's very windy. And then, okay, so they put up a tarp, but it's so windy that each one of them has to sit and hold the pole. That's how windy it is. Marsha and I, sun lovers that we are, <laughs> we're out in the sun, in the sun, basking in the sun. Well, we're having a cookout. Some people are playing cornhole. We're firing up the yeah, I have it over here. barbecues. And everybody's bringing a little something to chip in. Well, the nice thing is... And yeah, we kind of sat around a little bit into the evening and had a great time. Everybody's packing up, getting ready to leave. We're the last two diehards, but join us for my next video.